connection. Him having a few connection issues today. <laughs> he's just walking. He's just keep walking and talking, and there's nobody there. Uh, so I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> it doesn't. You're, going, you're having a bit of a conversation with yourself about things, and then I thought, oh, where did it cut off? <laughs> I have to keep an eye on when I had that red bar coming up saying connection. At least that helps. I don't normally get that red bar coming up. When you're just on a brisk walk, you just end up walking and walking and talking and the, the scope stopped recording. I think it just cut off a few minutes before I... Uh, a few minutes ago. We'll be back. I don't know. <laughs> no. It's random things still. Unless you, unless you scope, you just get used to it, hopefully. Just keep all your fingers crossed that when we've got a different platform, we have less hassle. <laughs> it might be worse, it might be better. It's the same, I don't know. I'm just used to Periscope for six months now of all the glitches. There's always been glitches, but like I said yesterday, it's been running in like autopilot. You haven't been doing any updates for ages, so. <clears throat> I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll have to look at the replay, see where it cut off. What was I saying when I last disappeared? <laughs> yeah, I've been here before. Some previous scopes. I see it'll be nicer, but nicer in the uh, nicer in the, the spring. Get some more warm weather, sun shining. But, uh, I was just intrigued to come and see all those uh, that event what they've got on the things lit up. That I think it's on for another week. Hopefully we'll see them switched on. Or it might have been lucky. Uh, you might have to just go back to my older replay from Trentham. Where I discover there all the things lit up. <clears throat> I think I was lucky that day, and everything was uh, everything was switched on. Let me just uh, so you have to remember. Don't forget to plug your phone in. <laughs> Let's just plug the phone in. I thought it'll be something else. You have a, a dead. I so said there's different things. You either your phone goes dead, the app crashes. Uh, or obviously, if it loses, uh, if it loses uh, connection, it just uh, stops. I think. I told you it wouldn't rain. Now I bought my umbrella. Hang on, let me just set me bag up. <laughs> yeah, yesterday I didn't bring my umbrella. I've even got my gimbal attached. Look, I'm doing me, I'm doing my umbrella scoping. So this is the, the back of the park. Anyway, it's nice and quiet. I think I was just saying I've just come to the back of the park trying to show you some sheep. Because this, this field can basically have sheep in it. And apparently there's some deer as well. I've just gone over a cattle grid. I think that's what I just missed on the scope. This is basically all just like farmland at the back. And there uh, you can see bales of hay. And uh, there should be some sheep somewhere. I don't know how far you can go to the back. I always come spare at the moment. I wish I could start planning things. And, uh, uh, it's, it's like a map of the area. And there's loads of paths I haven't been down. And like I say, that goes back to the that goes back to the main front. Let me see how much time we've got. Oh, so we've only got half an hour. So uh, let me think. Let me think. Yeah, the time goes so quick. I say that was an hour just walking around the water. Uh, let's go down here and see where this road goes. And we might catch here. Uh, so hopefully we can see a few of the things lit up. Yeah, you get a lot of people coming through here because it's like a housing estate behind those trees. So you get a lot of dog walkers. I was wondering where the other paths are you can go to. There's different paths. I don't know which one's best. Just uh, I'm trying to do different paths with a scope. I go around the lake one way, and then this other scope I went around the other way. And uh, yeah, it's like a he shouldn't be telling me off, I think that's the the vehicle. He starts wandering around, I think, looking at how many people are looking how many people are around. I think you just have a wander around. I've got half an hour anyway, yeah. They probably they might say nothing or they might usually last time I did it I was uh, I was told because it was five minutes from closing, I think, so I'll just let this car go past, see if he's got anything to say. It's just one, it's just 
driving down. It's lovely and peaceful, they say. You, you can't believe you're just a few miles away from busy town centres and then got all this lovely peace and quiet at the back. But uh, I was hoping we'd have more birds, more nature sounds. But I usually go down there. Let's see what's coming on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dear, yeah, I never disappeared. Yeah, it's just some strange glitches. Unless you scope, you don't understand. From your end, it just disappears. But what happens is I'm walking. I don't realise the app's just... You know, the, the, I don't realise the scope's just froze and stopped. And then uh, sometimes I can walk for half an hour and not realising the scope's finished recording. So uh, that's why I like to get a lot of interaction and... Uh, you have call-ins, you know, if you have call-ins, you know, obviously, you know, you've got a connection, but if you haven't got call-ins, you've got to keep an eye on the screen. I said usually try and get call-ins when I go on these big walks, because it keeps the connection. Because I've been round here with Angel called in, I walked all the way around here with a call-in. And it was sort of rock solid, I think that probably keeps it connected when you've got a call-in. Right, that's the end of the sheep, with the cattle grid. Right, let's see where we are, let's see where we are, yeah no sheep today unfortunately, but if you look at my previous scope from a few weeks ago I think you will see a, a screenshot of some sheep, but uh, yeah, if tell I'm getting fitter, I feel less out of breath, I'm just trying to do a different way around, I think that's the back of the garden centre, there's some of the old buildings I'll get to in a minute, where I said they're not the main that mansion down there, some of the old buildings there, that white one there. And there's the original church in the distance. But, uh, I'm not sure if there's any fences or doors closed or... I'm just very curious, like a cat, you see, I'm very curious. I thought, let's go down this path and see if it goes anywhere. I see a lot of people walking down here and uh, I wonder where it goes. I think there's a path up there, I don't know where that path goes. It's lovely and peaceful. I said you probably get mum. It's been open for it's open for about eight o'clock in the morning, I think. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, I think behind that fence, because they want you to have a dog on a lead because of the sheep and the deer. And I think there's an area over there where you can uh, you can have dogs off the lead. I'll have to investigate that when I've got more uh, more time. And there's a lock gate down there. Uh, this is basically a gate that's open at the moment. Oh, I see. I see where it's bringing you out. Yeah. But, uh, this gate is to be kept locked at all times. <laughs> it's open. <laughs> right, where's this taking me? Yeah, I'm just assuming I can get back to the... Uh, I can get to back to where I want to go. Basically, back in the park. See, I think they keep that gate closed because that's obviously open there. Uh, I mean, basically, there's one way in and one way out at the moment. And uh, I'm just sort of winging it and following this path and see what's down here. And uh, see if I can get back to the main park, or I'm, hopefully, I can. Bit of a mystery area. Oh, I see the gates closed there. I'll probably have to go all the way back. I think there's some of the old building. I see some of the old buildings from 250 years ago. There's some of the old buildings at the back, what you don't normally see. Look at that big crest on there. Oh, yeah, this is the back of the old buildings. I've got to try and oh, yeah, there's a path there. There we go. I think there's a path. You can get all the way around. Look at this for a crest. This is part of the old buildings. Look, look at that. Oh, that's cool. See some of the original buildings. Who's there? Telly's in. Rebner. Oh, that looks like somebody I know. Rebner. Your photo looks familiar. I think your username's changed. Hello. Oh, that's usually something else. Have you changed your WhatsApp? Uh, oh. 
yeah can you see that looks nice let's just take a let's just take a screenshot yeah every time i come here i'm always saying come here in the morning <laughs> i'm always sort of uh, i'm always on the clock when i come here i'm just wondering where this path goes i think that's a lock gate i think yeah this is another entrance i think yeah that's a lock gate It says low battery and yeah, I'm plugged in, hang on. Hang on, what's going on? Let me just uh Oh. Lost connection again. Great. Let's see where this this path's going. Is this a dead end? Or can I get out? And this is a path. That yeah, looks like a path. Ah, it's a lock gate. Great. Bit lost now, you know. Yeah, I thought people were allowed to come in this end. I think I've just hit a, a dead end now. Got a flat, the battery's giving me a oh, yeah, <laughs> silly boy. <laughs> I've plugged my spare battery in and uh, it isn't plugged in. Boy, boy, uh, child boy mistakes. You know, it helps if you plug your battery in. Oh dear. I'll be organised one day. I'll be organised, uh, I'll be organised one day. Yeah, I think that gate's closed, so. I thought I could cut all the way around. I'll have to go all the way back then. I think this is just like the uh, maintenance yard at the back, which shouldn't really be in this bit. But the gate was open. I should have asked that man who was driving past where the uh, where the path went. He saw me walking. I thought he should have told me there's no way out this way. Where's he just gone then? He must have come down here. Oh, just said connection. Have we gone again? Hello. <laughs> Anybody there? Give me some comments. Oh, it's not much fun when you have to keep restarting the scope five times. Oh, so strange. What the, uh, what the what the calling feature can do. It just keeps you locked onto the uh, the signal. I just thought I could go all the way around to the front. I haven't got much time, I've got to go all the way back. Great. This gate should be kept closed at all times. Uh, just wasting uh, the precious time now. I thought I'd get out that way. It's all the maintenance at the back, I think. I have to go back this way. Anybody there? <laughs> I think I've just lost you again. Marco. Yeah, just come to a dead end, folks. I don't know why they don't have a sign. They say there's no reason to come down here. Uh, yeah, a bit lost. I've got a map, but it doesn't make any sense. I'll have to come in the daytime and I've got more time. Time goes so quick when you uh this is no public access. Alright, so I'll keep an eye on when I see that error message, it might not be uh, recording. Hang on. I think it's having a funny few glitches today. Right, I think it's glitching again. I'll just end the scope and start again.